booktube and welcome to another video. Today is one of the most exciting videos I have done on my channel and it is my bookshelf tour. I'm doing my bookshelf tour right now because I'm going to college in less than a month and I, the next time that me and all of my books are going to be in the same place is probably going to be in like one or two years. So perfect time for a bookshelf tour. I'm really excited to film this video for you guys and I hope that you guys are excited to watch it. I don't know how long this is going to be so you might want to like go get a snack or something to drink or something, go to the bathroom because this could be a longer video. One more thing before we get started, my bookshelf is not really completely organized. It's not 100% pretty and I apologize for that if it looks kind of messy because I am going off to college and I have not had time to spruce it up and I didn't really see the reason to because I'm going to be going off to college and I'm going to be taking them all out and boxing them up anyways. With that, we will just get started. This is an overview of my whole bookshelf. I got my shelves from Target Online and if any of you were thinking of getting these, like, they are, like, wooden cubes, I would really advise against it because these are horrible. They have broken several times and I'm not even sure how they are staying together right now. My bookshelves are supposed to be arranged by genre, but I ran out of space in certain genres. But originally, this one was dystopian and sci-fi-ish. And then this one was full of genres that I didn't have enough of to have their own shelf. This is contemporary, middle grade, adult, realistic fiction, paranormal romance, and then this is kind of an extension of a middle grade, but also some um, nonfiction and children's books. And then these are really little children's books. We will start off with this shelf. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. A World Book Night edition of Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. The second book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series, The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brashars. And the first book in the Georgia Nicholson series, Angus Thongs and a Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. The Hunger Games box set by Suzanne Collins, which includes The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. And Divergent by Veronica Rock. Next, moving on to the shelf of books that I don't have enough of that genre to have its own little cubby. Like I said, my books are out of order, so there are a couple of realistic fiction in here as well. Graceling, Fire, and Bitter Blue. Make up the Graceling Realm series by Kristen Cashor. The Book Thief by Marcus Sousa. Freak Boy by Kristen Elizabeth Clark. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen. And The Silence by Dorothy Reed and Ilse Ilvihenvir Schmidt. Iona by Allison Goodman. Orientation and Other Stories by Daniel Arscorzo. Cruel by Jennifer Albin. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Princess Diaries and Princess in the Spotlight. The first two books in the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot. Fixing Delilah by Sarah Ockler. Wild Cards by Simone Alcalaz. And Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Books 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Four Perfect Pebbles by Lisa Pearl and Marion Blumenthal Lazan. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Next to my contemporary shelf, which mostly is still contemporary, Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Flipped by Wendelin Van Drannen. Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Hooked and Played by Liz Fichera. Anatomy of a Boyfriend and Anatomy of a Single Girl by Daria Sandowski. TTYL by Lauren Miracle. Losing It by Kara McCormick. Jane by April Linder. A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. And Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allaire Sanin. The Duff by Cody Keplinger. What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen. Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. I have two copies because this one is water damaged. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. That Summer by Sarah Dessen. Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Scrambled Eggs at Midnight by Brad Barkley and Heather Hepler. Leaving Paradise and Return to Paradise by Simone Elkles. Book Two on the Bright Side 
I'm now the girlfriend of a sex god. Book six, then he ate my boy in trancers. Book seven, startled by his furry shorts. Book eight, love is a many trousered thing. And book nine, stop in the name of pants. All books in the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Rennison. Perfect Chemistry, Rules of Attraction, and Chain Reaction, the three books in the Perfect Chemistry series by Simone Alcalaz. So this is mostly my middle grade shelf, but I do see one young adult. C by Heidi R. Kling. Bone Bean by Chutney Ross. Han by Amy Cotter. The Swift Boys and Me by Cody Keplinger. You Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Book 1, The Lightning Thief. Book 2, The Sea of Monsters. Book 3, The Titan's Curse. Book 4, Battle of the Labyrinth. And Book 5, The Last Olympian. All books in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. Atlas Diary by Zlatla Filopi. Nicholas by Gishoni and Simp. Holes by Lewis Satcher, The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making, and The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There, both books in the Fairyland series by Catherine M. Valente, Where the Wild Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls, The Little Prince by Antonin de saint Exupéry, Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate de Camelo, Dear America, My Heart is on the Ground, Dear America, The Diary of Piper Davis, the Fences Between Us by Kirby Larson. Then we have my Roald Doll box set, which includes Matilda, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Glass Elevator, The BFG, The Twits, James and the Giant Peach, and George's Marvelous Medicine. Here we have my adult fiction shelf, The Help by Catherine Stockett, My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult, The Premier Book of Major Poets, an anthology edited by Anita Dore. Good Poems, American Places, selected and introduced by Garrison Kellior. Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood by Rebecca Wells. The Last Song, The Lucky One, and The Rescue, all by Nicholas Sparks. I Know This Much is True by Wally Lamb. Jonathan Living King Siegel by Richard Bach. My Name is Memory by Anne Brashars. Room by Emma Donahue. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. One Day by David Nichols. The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. The Tenth Circle and Salem Falls, both by Jody Pico. Wicked by Gregory Maguire, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, and Too Far by Rich Shapiro. Here we have my realistic fiction shelf, Forever by Judy Bloom, Fixed by Force by Jason Warren, Forbidden by Tabitha Suzma, Sign Language by Amy Ackley, Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Tom Levine, An Arc of Heartbeat by Elizabeth Scott, Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King, Everybody Sees the Ants Also by A.S. King, Trapped by Michael Northrup, Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by Kat Rosenfield. Love, Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. FML by Sean David Hutcherson. Death, Dickinson, and the Demented Life of Frenchie Garcia. And The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Nothing by Jan Teller. Oh, Ask Alice by Anonymous. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Going Bovine by Luba Bray. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. Looking for Alaska by John Green. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Twice Told, an anthology with pictures by Scott Hunt. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. And Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. This is my paranormal romance shelf. Nightshade, Wolfsbane, and Blood Rose. I do not remember this series name, but it is by Andrea Krimmer. Then I have my box set of the Shiver trilogy, which includes Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. Embrace, Entice, and Emblaze, the first three books in this series by Jessica Shervington. Unearthly, Hallowed, and Boundless, the three books in the Unearthly trilogy by Cynthia Hand. A Shade of Vampire by Bella Forrest. Everneath and Everbound, the first two books in the Everneath trilogy by Brody Ashton. Halo and Hades by Alexandria Ardonetto, the first two books in the Halo trilogy. Then I have the Twilight Saga. I'm not going to pull these out because I'm pretty sure all of you know them. There's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. 
all by Stephanie Meyer. This is one of my miscellaneous shelves. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm probably going to skip over a couple of the anthologies of children's books that I have and just normal children picture books, but I will show you some of the nonfiction and more middle grade that I have. The Young Adult's Guide to Getting Published by Katherine Henderson. Writing Great Books for Young Adults by Regina Brooke. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And then here we have children's books, children's books, children's books. Here we have my box set of Little House on the Prairie books, which include Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, Farm Boy, On the Banks of Plum Creek, By the Shores of Silver Lake, The Long Winter, Little Town on the Prairie, These Happy Golden Years, and The First Four Years. I also have a box set of Molly and American Girl books. And then back there I also have some American Girl shorts. Here is the last shelf and it's not organized. There's no really theme. More children's books, more middle grade, so I will just show you the important ones. Another copy of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. A Tale of Despera. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Sarah Plain and Tall. Skylark. And Caleb's Story. Three books in the Sarah Plain and Tall series by Patricia McLean. I have a few assorted Babysitter's Club books. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. The Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. Over here is all children's books. And back there I have American Girl books. I have Kit, Samantha, Addie, Kirsten, Josefina, Felicity, and Elizabeth and Kaya. That is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.